Twenty. Twenty. I was on my visit, probably about halfway through Saturday, I just felt like this was a place for me and my heart told me that. So that's what I went with. I went with my heart, I trusted my heart. And ever since day one, since I've been on this campus, I enjoyed every bit of it. And I'm glad I made the decision to come here. When we have our rough days, our tough days, but you know, those are the days when we have to you know, say, rise to the occasion and that's gonna put us over the top and prepare us for that moment. You know, because when we get there, it's not going to be easy. We're not just going to be able to walk over no team, the team that we play there. You know, it's going to be a tough, grinded out game, man. You know, these days that we are going through our adversity, we got to find, we got to bounce back and push harder because when we get in those games, we're going to face that type of adversity and we got to know how to rise to the occasion. When our team goes get accomplished, my personal goals are accomplished. My big thing is winning. That's all I'm about. So, a main part of my personal goal is winning, and that's which our team goal is. So. You know, Marvin's Marvin's one of those guys that is just, you know, waiting to emerge. There's so much ability. Uh, he's one of the hardest workers in our program. He's one of the toughest kids in our program. It just seems like he gets better and better every day. His skill set grows every day. Uh, we need him to shoot the ball well for us. We need him to be one of our best offensive and defensive rebounders. And there's nothing that Marvin will end up doing on the basketball court that will surprise me. Because when you work like he does and you have some of the physical gifts he does, and the type of competitiveness and attitude, you just keep getting better. He'll be a guy that I think we're going to see emerge in front of our eyes day to day, game to game, year to year, and looking for him to have a big sophomore season. Leading by example. I can't tell nobody what to do or how to do things if I'm not doing it. So first I need to lead by example. You know, I work hard. I get in the gym all the time. Today. So that my team may see that, hey, I'm all working. I need to work too. So I mean, that was one way I could start by leading it. You know, everything else pretty much carried over. I mean, I say I'm gonna be that vocal leader, get her in my, and that everybody face and say, this is what you gotta do. But I feel like I lead by example and, and uh, offer my advice when it's needed. Uh, I fit in fine as an emerging leader. As a unit, we have a whole different approach now, you know. We really believe that we can win. We put in the work that we can win. So we expecting big things for for each other this year, you know. And everybody, that's the clear goal for everybody, you know. See to the SoCon championships of none this year, you know. And everybody is well aware of that. And we all working, we all working, we're really working hard to achieve achieve that goal this year and make that happen and bring a championship to Greensboro.